almost 2,000 years suggests the Vatican may be one of the most informed organizations in the world on the subject of alien life. But is the Vatican preparing to reveal the shocking reality of an alien race in our universe? We will see, perhaps in our lifetime, the discovery of life on Mars or the presence of past life on Mars. And if so, the Pope will of necessity embrace that life as part of creation. With the extraterrestrial truth finally made public, could the Church use this opportunity to convert more beings to Catholicism? They understand that God created this vast universe, that we're not the only anthill in the middle of the desert. Catholicism is going to be on the forefront for really being that open-minded religion to join. Well, there you see uh, the revived beast. Um, the end time religion which is going to rule the world during the tribulation uh, it's been revealed to you right in this program and uh, here's the being that uh, these elite people worship you find it in most cities in Europe and this is obviously connected with the ten kings and so on uh, but this is the golden cherub as described this one is found in Berlin by the way this is where Obama did his inaugural speech before he became president. And uh, here we see in Ezekiel 28 the uh, fact that he was covered in precious stones and uh, was the golden cherub. Ezekiel 28.13 and so on. It says uh, the ways were perfect until iniquity was found in the so we see there sin entering into this um, fallen angel and uh, there it says thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness so it's trying to exalt itself in other words not, to, not exalt his creator the Lord Jesus Christ anymore and uh, this has been perverted, of course, in Catholic Mass. Mass means death, and it's the continual worship of death, as the Vatican's actually built on a mass graveyard, and even alien skulls, as you will see in the link in the toolbar, has been found under the Vatican, which used to be a sacrificial site for the goddess Janus, before it actually became the Roman Catholic Church. Here's the scripture in Isaiah the fallen from heaven or Lucifer son of the morning and so on so this is the name of the fallen cherub and uh, I it says I will ascend to the heights of the clouds I will be like the most high but God's saying yet thou shall be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit so remember that, God, that uh, the Apostle Paul said that Satan can appear as an angel of light. Well, now let's take a look at the movie Stargate and look at some information on there. And one of the theories about Atlantis was that the Atlantis was a spacecraft which left the Atlantic Ocean. Not only did the city fall under these waves, obviously it could be a UFO base, this technology down there. But um, it could also be a spaceship. That's one of the theories. And in the movie Stargate, we actually see that uh, the all-seeing eye at the top there is the top of the Giza Pyramid. And they think that this is going to return at some point. Um, so we see this guy's in a sarcophagus. And uh, it was actually used for healing. They have technology. And... Uh, see his eyes glowing there reminds me of um, well, I was trying to become the one true God you see it says this in the book of Daniel remember that he would enter into the Holy of Holies saying that he is God and uh, basically those that don't worship him will be destroyed well this is obviously this has obviously been tried before the New World Order so this is the last the final one 
that Lucifer or Satan is going to be allowed to try again. And it's up to us, the Christians, to warn the people and uh, try to um, turn people's hearts back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember that the you can see the gemstones are also used in the technology as mentioned in the book of Ezekiel. Those gemstones mentioned there. And as we have said, there's emergence of man and machine. And these guys wear some kind of head um, thing, which we'll look at just now. And you can see that uh, these men are actually wearing technology. And this is possibly linked with the hieroglyphs as well. Again, we're talking about this, about the cyborgs. Um, so this movie is depicting that as well. Mark of the Beast is in the right hand all the time and in this movie this fallen angel or whatever it is has got technology and it puts it on his right hand and he uses it to destroy um, his enemies so we see that it's neither male nor female it's a very strange looking being um, see all the all seeing eye depictions here most of the choreography here we see it again uh, basically it's wearing a couple of horns and uh, you see in the hieroglyphs and um, the horn and the basically the circle at the back uh, you can see that it's wearing there which is in a lot of um, artwork and it's a lot of um, archaeological finds as well it's not quite a stargate but it's um, something that they use to beam up to the ship and in all sci-fi movies there's always a nuclear bomb and they somehow get it to the spaceship which, uh, sorry to spoil it if you've not seen this before, but that's exactly the plan that this guy has. Um, so this being is about to be blasted, literally, back to wherever he came from, whichever dimension. You see that again the um, men and technology, the uh, beings there that we went over before. Ship. This is the top of the Giza pyramid meant to be, and it's a spaceship with this fallen angel inside, and it blasts off into space, and uh, it's about to be blown into space as well. somehow mutates into a fallen angel or nephilim you see it here a demonic entity and uh, that's the end of the new world order I guess wonder if it will happen the same way this time let's find out and wait for Jesus Christ to return and uh, he will be the one that will give us the victory in the final days 
the last days, the end of the siege. All glory to Yahweh.